Welcome to State of Tech. I'm going to show you how to use Listastic for your iPhone. If we open up the application, it's going to load us here into our lists where we have all of our current to-do items. Currently, I have created three lists. I've got bills, work, and grocery. But if I wanted to add a new list, I'll just tap the plus button in the top right-hand corner, and I'll be able to add a new list. You see they're giving us an example as a grocery list. But let's just say for this one, I wanted to call it personal. I'll just type in personal. And then I can even scroll over here on the right hand side and choose a color for my list. For this one, let's go ahead and make it purple since it's a color I already don't have. I'm going to hit done. You see it's created a new list and I actually did have purple for grocery. So I can tap on personal. Let's go ahead and come out here back to the main menu. I'll tap edit. I'll tap on personal. And now I'm going to go ahead and change this to blue. And that's how we're going to edit our lists. So now I have a different color for each one of my lists. And again, if I tap edit in the top right hand corner, I can even tap on one, say this personal one, and I wanted to delete it. I can hit delete, or I can go ahead and hit done and just save all my changes. Now in each one of these different categories, I'll be able to tap on personal. And you see I have active, later, and completed. Now if I wanted to add an item, I'll hit plus button in the top right hand corner, and I can tap in a new item. Currently they're giving us an optional uh, tag here for root beer. Let's just say for the personal, I wanted to read a book. I can even add details in the bottom. So if I tap add details, uh, let's say for a read a book, I wanted to make it a sci-fi. So I'll just type in sci-fi. And then I'll hit return. And I can even add other lines here in my notes. Or I can go and hit done. And it's going to save that to my list. You see now here I have on my list, I have read a book. And if I tap on it, you see it pops up a little notification letting me know that I have sci-fi in my notes. Now if I wanted to mark it as completed, I'm going to go ahead and swipe over to the right and it's going to bring it into my completed list. So now if I come into completed, you see I have that other task that I just completed. But if I wanted to bring it back, I can tap on it and I'll go ahead and bring it back into my active since I actually didn't read the book. But now say I want to save it for later. I'm going to swipe over from the right and I'm going to add it to my later list. And you see I can do it tomorrow, this weekend, next week, a specific date, we're not sure. I'm going to go ahead and save it for next week since I want to get a book next week. And now if I tap on the later tab, you see I have read a book. And I have this for everything one of my lists. I have grocery. You see if I tap in here, I don't have any active, but I actually have completed. You see all the ones that I've completed. And I even have some here on my later list. Now the great thing about Listastic, if I wanted to actually share these lists with one of my friends or family members or anyone like that, I can actually tap account in the bottom left hand corner and actually create an account with them and be able to share and sync these lists with anyone else that's actually using this application. So if you wanted to, you go ahead and tap create new account and you can give it a new email address here. Just enter in your email address and tap new. Or if you want to sign in and go ahead and tap in your email and you'll be able to sign in. Now what's great is you can actually come in here and you can do all these and share them. You can even share specific lists. And when anyone actually makes a change on one of them, it'll reflect the change here in your application as well. So if they were in a personal, if you shared your personal with them and they actually had gotten you a sci-fi book, they'd be able to mark that off for you and you wouldn't have that in your list anymore to do because someone else completed it for you that you've been sharing your lists with. And that's how you're going to use Listastic for the iPhone.